Welcome back to CAF TV to the under 16 super group we moved now and something had to give. Brampton Elite and Pace FC were the two remaining winless teams heading into action last weekend. Pace, however, did have a tie to their credit, picking up their first point in a tense encounter against DFC in their last contest. And they were looking to build on that against Elite on Saturday. We were expecting a tight matchup, but that definitely wasn't what we got from this tilt. Uh, one team emerged with its first win in emphatic fashion. Max Ferrari kicks things off for pace. Just take a look at this goal. Uh, Maradona-esque, one of the goals of the year so far at its one zip pace. Soon after, more pace, Alexander Cantasano to Colin Dobson out front. Elite defense asleep at the wheel. 2-0 pace, and then it's Ferrari back to work. This guy had a great game. Feeds it to Cantasano uh, for the easy little tap in here. And pace up big. 3-0, and they weren't even close to being done. Cantasano again uh, breaking in here, and he makes it 4-zip for Pace FC. And uh, in the second half, Pace nearly makes it five. Uh, keep your eye on Daniel Frizzoni up front second half, here. Pace uh, on the are finally rewarded for their hard effort. Max Ferrari snake bitten in the first half. Not here, though. That is Pace's first goal of the season. And it's a uh, welcome back to CAF TV. After a rough start to their inaugural under-16 supergroup season, losing their first three games, Pace FC has impressed lately. They bounced back with a tie and then a big win two weeks ago against Brampton Elite, and they were looking to continue their strong play on Sunday. One player that's been red hot for Pace lately has been Max Ferrari, and he continued his strong play. Fifth minute now. Beautiful little flick by Ferrari to Ryan Mascarenas. Clinical. And it's one zip for Pace. Four minutes later, they nearly make it two off the quick hard corner kick cross. Here, sort of comes in for Colin Dobson, but his header Last flies. Max Ferrari just explains the turnaround for Pace FC lately. Uh, we started getting more organized. We've had a, a lot better practices lately. So that made us uh, more confident to come into the game. Uh, we got very unlucky. I thought we played really good. Coming today, we just gotta, we always gotta improve, right? Pace goal. All right, back. And they cut the lead in half to two to one. Two and they Ferrari continues his hot play as of late uh, with a nice little goal there. And Pace lead Long. Three, one Max Ferrari has been the unstoppable force for Pace FC. He's one of the leading scorers in the under 16 group, combining a wicked shot with fancy footwork embarrassing defenders and keepers in the process. Well, on Sunday, Pace knew that Max would have to be at the top of his game if they were going to knock off second place Chantilly. And surprise, surprise, Mr. Ferrari came through again. Pace has been a great story this summer, losing their first three games but playing fantastic since. We pick it up in the second half. Mr. Ferrari, free kick, boom. Off the crossbar though. Chantilly hits first, 48th minute. Alex Alec out front. And he coolly slots home the header. Very nice. And the boys from Hamilton go up. Uh, one nothing. But you knew at some point Max would get on the score sheet. 60th minute, he takes the great feed and blows it past Carson Provenzano. And PFC ties it up at one. What did the corner flag ever do to these guys? Just a minute later, it's Ferrari again, but this time Provenzano. Coming up with the nice save right there. 63rd minute, pace, corner kick. It comes all the way to Sora Kanea on the far side. And pace, jump ahead. 